That's exactly right, Chris. Uh, maybe potentially dressing up for what could be a smack show. I don't know, Jay. It's uh, it's hard to not side with Atlanta Faze in this series. We've talked about it. I mean, the storylines are there given the history between these franchises. And I just took a quick look. I know Puckett's talking about channel points, Jay. I just went to uh, Pick'em, pick'em.callofdutyleague.com. This is the okay. biggest disparity I have ever seen. 98.3% versus 1.7% everybody's betting the bag on Atlanta here. Oh, well, I would definitely do the same exact thing if I was them because Atlanta phase, we know they are a championship caliber team, Florida Mutineers. They recently made that roster change at the beginning of major three qualifiers and they've been up and down. You know, you had an upset at the major. You were able to take down New York, but then you come into the beginning of major four, you fall short in a 3-0 versus Minnesota rocker and Biggest player that I have to talk on is Mr. DJ Cap. He was playing that bull job in that series. He had a point five, so he has to be the guy that steps it up. Yeah, he absolutely has to be, as you said. It feels like both teams coming off of a, of a stinging loss. I don't even know which one you may think is, is worse, honestly, Jay. What, you just want a flight to lose 3-0, or you lose a game five round 11? Which one would you choose? I think the flight 3-0, because that means you actually have to leave your house. Get on a flight, check your bag at the airport, and unfortunately, instantly flew right back home after that series versus Minnesota. So I think if you are Florida, it's all about making the statement in this map, number one, like the Dets touched on it, ever since this new roster has been formed, they are undefeated on this map. And the reason yeah. why is because they're usually putting themselves in a majority of the better spots, winning their rotations, and their setups have been great as well. And already starting this game, you find 12 seconds off P1, you were able to flip those spawns over towards P2. They're just doing the fundamentals correct right now. Yeah, I hope they had that uh, that pre-check when they came down to the airport. Regardless of it, as you said, Florida, big map for them. All eyes focused on this game one for them. As they are betting all the cards that they could potentially walk away with this first one. It is great work so far here from the Mutineers. However, Slasher able to poke away at two. Some close spawns for FaZe. Now make this much more manageable for them. Sip is jumping over every oh. ball. And there's a BZ. Havoc with a bit of an answer, but Atlanta run wild here in the lobby, and now they have got the time. Yeah, that's just nasty work or right not. there out of Atlanta. Phase you fly straight on through middle arch, and you're able to find every single kill. Now it's all left up to Slasher. He does find two. The rest of his teammates are finally back into the play, but Florida is still doing a great job just contesting this hill to the very end until you have to challenge Selium, who eventually finds two. Caps it over, at least there for the trade. But now they don't have the spawns. Florida Mutineers, final 10 is going to be theirs. But this next play, it's all going to fall into the hands of Brack, the only player from Florida Mutineers off the rotation. Yeah, and you can tell for Brack, I and mean, he was really hoping the capsule could have made it to the kitchen with him. Now it's pretty much a mono on three fight. Yep, he eventually does get taken down. However, in the meantime, Fellow and Havoc at least able to lighten the load a bit so that will allow now for Tyler Fellow to be in the back. Tosses out the stun, gets the information, the kills continue to go the way of florida and there you go that's gonna be the break for them that has been their primary method of success here jay on their hotel hard points has been those breaks yeah that's a big break indeed because they were able even with losing a couple gunfights off the rotation the only player on that point was brack all of his teammates were able to win their one-on-one -on -one engagements and eventually hold down the hill but Atlanta fans, they find their way right back on in. Only player here now is Havoc. Havoc actually finds two, so the test is still going to be there. Simp eventually finds the trade. Atlanta fans is going to take the lead right on back. And as we now have basically a rotation over toward the bar, it is basically a tie game, even through three. And a few shots extra there from Slasher just to ensure that the trophies are now gone. FaZe trying to set up shop, and there you go. A quick three down now lightens the load makes things that much more easy as Celia bringing the Vaznev out we've seen him do that on occasion typically p5s on embassy but decides to bring it out on a three spree we'll see if he can extend it eventually does fall and from there Florida find a few in a row and now they've got the time yeah Florida so far just keeping the game really scrappy never they need to trade they're finding a couple kills they're also putting a lot of pressure on knowing where the spawns are coming in on the side of Atlanta phase, as Capsule is able to find three, but selling him with the two-piece Semtex. He's able to get him off of that time. Such a back and forth hard point. I think this is this is a must-win for the Florida Mutineers. For your best hard point modes. 
And going up against Atlanta Face, who have struggled in this mode as of recent, lost their last five in a row. Just need to get back to the fundamentals. The Slash is able to find three, but it's going to be about this one on one battle for the rotation and fellow wins. Yeah, and here comes a BZ. So now it's going to be Face, who have momentary control. But as we head in toward Restaurant, and a team kill occurs there for the Mutineers, that's going to slow their progress up. Jay, kind of getting on conversation with that. I mean, if you're phased, as you said, we know the hard point lost streak. What are you, as an uh, as an outside spectator, right, as a former pro player yourself, like, yeah. what are you looking at for phase? What has been the biggest issue, things that they need to improve on? It's just fundamentals, man. Like, you guys have the talent. You guys have the gunnies. We just got to make the game a lot more simple. It's not all about challenging every corner, flying around every corner. It's all about playing some corners sometimes. Make sure you're playing a little bit safe, playing your life. And just getting the fundamentals down pack, making the game easier for yourself. I feel like with Atlanta phase, we talk about the talent on this team. They always usually find the break on hard point. But when you get the fundamentals in play, that's when the scoreline starts to get really lopsided for this team. Yeah, we'll see if they can start to make those improvements. And right now, the game is looking absolutely phenomenal for them. What, 125 Flawless. to 68. If you are the Mutineer, something has got to change. An improvement has to be made, and maybe it could come through the hands of Capital. A bit of a slow performance in that series yesterday over in Wisconsin. Now he's playing from the home facility. And looking to make a play, even as we head into the final hill, the first set of rotations. And in fact, let's step aside and see how the comms are sounding in a moment like this with the Mutineers. We're right behind him. We're right behind him. Nice. Good job. Missing one. Nice. Close. I got you on time. He's left uh, uh, right behind, behind the front chair, dead. Nice, good one job. One more in bed, one, one in bed, dead. That is three, we're missing one. Slash flat. Flat. One, shot. one shot, one shot, so. Come on, yeah. help him, he's in the right corner. Five nice, 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 one cat, nice, one cat, guys. Okay. He's low bed, low bed. So there's two men on me, two men on me couches in front B-Con. They're rotating through now, trying to play for kitchen. Nice, they're trying to play mid kitchen. One is B-Con, one more B-Con, B-Con, trust. Yeah, he's mid, 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 mid. Let's hot tub. One shot, though. Nice, one out, guys. One more side door kitchen, one shot on you, Parson. He's absolute laying down. He's laying down there, same spot, so. Back kitchen, need him. Back kitchen, kitchen pot as well. Back, back kitchen pot. Good play. Go around right, Colt. Just stay down from him and slash you. I'm going right with you. I'm going right with you. Take my time. Slow play, single. Kitchen, kitchen pot, kitchen pot. Austin. He's stuck in the right, Colt. Front door. Front door. He's one shot, BZ. Pin point around right. Pin point around right. He's going back. He's going X door right now. X door right now. Okay. Spawn back, spawn. Sandy on me, absolute simp. He's spawn killing double arch. Okay. I'm gonna go behind the beast. I'll go couch this here. You go couch this here. I'm behind them kitchen. I'm gonna get court. One's behind a single. A beast. A beast. Behind a single. You know what I'm doing? Side door kitchen slasher. Side door kitchen slasher. I'm coming couch this here. Nothing in the lobby desk. Nothing couches. Oh, he's a couch now. A beast. One single. One single. Couches now. A beast. One's behind the middle couch. One's front dubs. One's front dubs. I mean, I'll be honest, not bad comms at, by any stretch for the Ford Mutineers. The issue, Jay, yeah. is they just can't seem to find kills. Finally, they were able to stop that team. I'm pretty sure it was up to like 11 or 12 in a row for Atlanta Phase. On the P1 Hill, we usually don't find a lot of success. It's usually spawns everywhere around the map, towards kitchen, towards bedroom. But they were doing a great job of just reading every situation that was happening. Which now allows Atlanta face to grow the lead the way that they have up 80 points off the rotation over towards P2 At least you got some back control towards back street slasher finds another one already on a spree Atlanta phase they turned up on the second half of rotations Yeah, they have indeed slasher off of a uh, pretty bad performance versus New York in terms of the stats I think he was pretty much around double negative in both of those hard points versus New York having a much different story here Everybody trying to rewrite the script this phase once more, claim control over the lobby. Florida do have those close spawns in the meantime. So it is a current three versus one. They get four versus one. They weed out a BZ. This is much at a time right now for the Mutineers. 25 seconds that you desperately need to have. And with those gunfights, it is going to be Florida who take those. And a few scouts have actually made their way out. So FaZe will grab the final 15. And if you're Florida, you do hold on to that rotation. So much better play. At least in these last few sequences, we'll see what they can do now at the kitchen. One more break, Jay, and it feels like this game potentially could be over. Yeah, you need a full hold, a full 60 hold right here if you are Florida. Cannot allow Atlanta Face to break on in, especially with about 45 seconds left, because they will have the ability to close it out in towards the kitchen. Trades go back and forth on the back end. Fellow comes out on top. It's still one player, though, that you have to focus on. It's only Slasher. He's just trying to stay alive for his teammates to eventually pitch the front end. Sam Liam and Sip combined for two, so there's only one player left in the point. You're oh. contesting it all the way to the very end, but Havoc, he comes out on top again with that SMG in towards the kitchen with two to hold on. Florida. Trying to make this one competitive. As soon as he said, a break could really start to change the game. But how about a hold? How quickly 
Florida can get right back in this game, but here we go. Face a little late to the party, but they've eventually arrived. Quite a few cooks in the kitchen, and Face are turning up the heat. Wonderful work across the board from the squad. Another lovely team spree. It was seven as a squad for a moment. Simp eventually dropped, but they can feel, feel pretty good no. about that score line. The near turn on from Abizi is going to lead us to 226 to 152. You got to give it all you got if you're Florida. And this is not an easy, to, not, rather not an easy hill to lock down, Jay, especially with the streak coming in from the skies. Oh yeah, the streak's coming in and Simp on the flank. The streak is not <laughs> even going to be useful as Simp is able to find two. Smalls now flip 20 seconds away from Atlanta phase, closing out in the map number one. You see the spawns for Florida. They're all the way across the map. Now they have to try to attack it from bedroom side. Atlanta phase got all the info. They're cutting them all down, man. This game one is done. Yeah, this one's uh, this one's over. I've never seen a funnier cruise missile though, man. Like literally Slicer's just coming in over the top and he's like, oh, everybody's dead. I guess I'll just go ahead and crash land this one. No big deal. Florida invest all of their chips in this opening hard point and it does not work out favorably for them. That flawless record as a team on Hotel HP comes to a commanding halt as FaZe lock up our first. And now it gets scary, man, because Florida Mutineers, since they decided to take Team A in this series, they chose that opening map number one, which was their best hard point. Ever since this new roster has been formed, 3-0 and on this map. But losing that map number one now puts you in a very, very tight situation because Atlanta phase in this series, they have two surge and destroyers combined where they're sitting at 12 and 0. And Embassy for them, they are 9 and 0 undefeated, yeah. first in every single category. So now it becomes more difficult. We know Florida, at least of old, were able to go toe to toe with any team in search and destroy. They make this roster change. Obviously, you got to get a whole new feel how a couple teammates like to play. But going up against Atlanta phase on Embassy Surge and Destroy is never an easy task, man. I'm pretty sure the closest they've ever gotten was in that round 11 versus Seattle. Yeah. Closest. Usually a majority of the time, they're beating team 6-1, 6-0, or 6-2. That's how dominant they are on this Embassy Surge and Destroy. But take a look at the highlights. Florida, they did a great job on the first rotation at hard point, just keeping the game very, very close. But when it got towards the diner, that's when Atlanta phase was able to get a full 60 hold there. Florida tried to respond over towards Platt, but then on the second and rotations Atlanta phase did a great job soaking majority of that P1 time keeping P2 scrappy finding a break on towards P3 and then rotated over towards P4 so Florida kind of let their foot off the gas a little bit at the second rotation of hard points but you got to completely shake this one off you have to win this search destroy yeah they just felt like some timely breaks and some wonderful holds from phase that felt like once they got that hard point in their grasp they were never going to let it go and like I said, that cruise missile just to me kind of tells the tale of this opening hard point for Slasher. He's not even in the fights yet. That streak is supposed to help get the kills. Meanwhile, while he's in the air, the rest of the team is literally taking down everybody. But Embassy Search Destroy. Okay, well, uh, like I said, FaZe, well, that hard point streak has come to an end in terms of that losing streak, which is great. And now they've got, uh, well, their best Search Destroy map. It's one of the best Search Destroy teams I guess of all time, Jay, I feel like we've not really had that conversation oh, yeah. about Atlanta, given the wonderful spree that they've gone on. The only map that they tend to lose is El Asilo. Well, Embassy has been red hot. Like you said, 9-0. I don't see that changing today. If there was a way that it were to change, what do you think that Florida has to do in order to put that one loss up for face? I think the biggest thing that Florida got to do is just shut down the aggression from Simp and Abizi. Like those guys just, even on their defensive rounds, push out of orange, take mid map control, do not allow you to get that bomb down for free. And they just cause you so many problems. So if you're able to take care of the tiny terrors, you get that bomb down. You're usually going to find a lot of success, but it's never going to be easy because they still have great AR players who are watching over them as well. So it's just going to be a straight swear up. I think if you are Florida, you don't want to play scared in this situation. Atlanta phase, though, they are the best team at Embassy Search and Destroy. But with them having nine reps on it, you can go back and look at the homework. You can go back and figure out what they like to do, how these SMGs like to play, because it's all about just shutting down that pressure from the SMGs. You do that, you will find some success. And I mean, technically, technically, the Florida franchise does have eight reps on Embassy Search Destroy. Okay. But, but they only have one win. That's the issue. One in seven here on Embassy Stop. Search Destroy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not going to be an easy task for the Florida Mutineers and... I don't know, man. Like, one of the issues I feel like when it came down to this 
Mutineers roster forming was that, you know, at the start of the season, it was all about, we can't win heart points, but we can win search destroy. Yeah. Ever since that roster change has happened, I think they were hoping Jay to have that balance, right? Of not just being great at search destroy, but hoping to translate that into the respawns specifically into the hard points and now it feels like they're in that weird funk where search destroys aren't guaranteed and really neither are the hps all that often yeah that's the thing like florida especially when you're playing against some of the better teams in the game hard point is always going to be tough but the search and destroy is where it has to be your bread and butter they actually have played this with their new roster once they were up 4-1 versus the gorillas but then they lost five rounds in a row to eventually lose that map 6-4 and the biggest thing that i took away from that was the impact that brack had with the sniper he likes to push his way towards the hedge side likes to push his way towards back alley and he was doing a great job of finding a majority of those first bloods the last time they played it so look at brack to try to set that tone with the sniper again yeah, and like you said, the positive is for the Mutineers in this case is that it had at least some success on it previously. I know it was a loss versus LAG, but with this exact squad, that's some rep, rather has some repetitions on it at the same time. You also know exactly what FaZe likes to do. Again, they've put it nine times and they've won it every single time. We talk about denying the plant, job done for Cap. As he'll wipe away the opening two, it's an instant man advantage situation for Florida. So now in the 3v2. Havoc finds himself in a great position. They're not going to be ready for it. Havoc is able to take down Simp. So now it all falls into the hands of Mr. MacArthur. 1v3 makes it a 1v2. All up to him versus Capsid on Brack. 40 seconds to go. Bomb is down over on B, and obviously Florida are going to know that. In the meantime, due to that early round success, Capsule's going to have dead silence to work with, so you definitely are stacking up your chips. If you're Florida, sell him with a bit of information, tosses out a nade and really would love for Capsule to go for the challenge. Brack on the crossfire, not only weakens, but eventually does drop Selium. Ali brought it up to start off this series. Deny the plant and watch what happens. Florida do exactly that. And round one belongs to them. Yeah, that's good work right there out of Florida. More specifically out of Capsule to find the timing to take that player off the bomb. Force it into a 3v2 and then Havoc. No hesitation on that flank. At least takes down one. Makes it a more manageable play for his teammates to try to clutch on up. Wasn't that much time left on the clock for Selium to try to get that bomb done or at least find both kills at Florida. Right able to take round one. If they can add on to it, Fellow, always a master of strategy. Seen him do that really throughout his entire career, bringing out the boomstick. Really, that bullet now belongs in a pile of concrete. It's easy. No shocking. Ends up walking away with the first blood capsule. Hey, he decides to go for the challenge as well. High risk, high reward play does not favor him. And FaZe walk away with the first two. So now in a 2v4 situation, the bomb's going to be down at the dead center of the map. This is basically an impossible round to win. If you are the Florida Mutineers. Fellow does at least get some information onto a player sitting towards top AC. But Abizi's just waiting for his opportunity to strike. If Fellow decides to take a shot. Abizi will turn that corner with an instant. And try to pick up that kill, but time is ticking. Bomb still down towards the middle of the map. Brat just messed his dead silence and picked up nothing, but at least Fellow lines up the shot onto a BZ. 3v2. Patience pays off, and he knows this MC was actually over at top ACs. No he way he hit that one. So, I was going to say, he's staking his heart out. <laughs> going to have about a fraction of a second to hit that shot. Oh, nearly does it. Problem being is that there are two more players alive. Phase handle business. Some lovely shots coming in from Tyler Fellow, but it does not equal out to their second round. We are at one to one. And I was talking about Brack with the sniper, but I totally forgot. Fellow whipped it out versus Minnesota on that Mercado S and D, and he was hitting some shots. So young Tyler Fellow, he's making a former sniper very proud with the <laughs> shots he's able to hit. But just not that much time on the clock with Bomb being down. Atlanta Phase did not have to budge at all. As the tiny terror started off. Finding the first initial two kills. And they are eventually able to close out the round. 1-1 one, one now. And it's hindsight, right? But obviously, PZ finds that opening kill. Capsule really just jumps into the middle of abyss. To get FaZe the early two, regardless of it. And around three, we go. FaZe trying to go for that quick plant. We know the strategy that they love. Cap, oh, oh he goes man. high. Abizi's low. Plant is in. And now it is up to Florida. To make the retake crack over the top meanwhile it's fellow can he hit two snipes he's got one and havoc ends up trading on the other 30 seconds to go 30 seconds to go someone's got to sneak on that diffuse 
It's going to be Fellow with a great route to make his way in towards top PD. You know that Selim likes to play that position, but this time it's going to be Slasher. The double chow comes in. Now it's all left up to Selim once again in a 1v3. Oh, they know where he is. They know where MC is hiding, and it will be a retake there for the Florida Mutineers. Great work inside of Orange to help cut away two. And from there, Florida, utilize those numbers, clear out top PD, and get Selium off the map. I mean, if he finds just one of those kills, it definitely becomes that much more of a dicey round. But it is Havoc over the top. Nice little sandwich there for the Mutineers as they start. The search destroy off well, Jay. Two to one. Yeah, that's good work right there from Florida on the retake, especially with Fellow to push his way into the bottom orange and go for a quick scope on the simp. You usually do not see that happen versus one of the best SMG players in the game. But once he finds that kill, like I said, the beautiful route to jump in towards top PD for the double child. You take down that guy and then you get the information on to sell him. So now put yourself up to one. This time you're back on the attacking round. It was all on pressure through P2 and they're going to go for it once again. Yeah, love this call. Love the call from Florida. Instant blind counter. We'll see if Atlanta are going to be there on the quick three chows. And yes, they will. They've got three players pretty much in ear's distance. Meanwhile, it is Sip. Long range shots. He eventually does get dealt with. In the meantime, it is also Cap. He's able to clear things away inside of this A site. And it is instantly left up now to the ARs of Atlanta. Selium and Slasher. The all to do. And Slasher will start things off well. MC with a massive amount of info right now. Oh, MC has a lot of info, but so do Florida. Is able to team shot onto Selium, take him down. Now it's all up to Slasher in the 1v3. Dead Silence is not going to be earned, but at least it runs out for Havoc and Brack. The time is starting to tick, man. It's a tall task ahead. All of Florida just sitting around that bomb, waiting for the trade. We'll see. Slasher elects to do so many angles, so many spots. Able to beam cap for the first. Had some shots granted there for Brack. However, Florida remain strong. That is back-to-back -back rounds. Now for the Mutineers as they'll go up three rounds to one. Jay, what's impressed you so much? Or rather, what's impressed you so far about Florida? It's just their blind counter. They're not trying to do what everyone usually does on this map, and that's just instantly go over towards B, cross towards the sign, and try to get that bomb down. So they're making the SMGs on the side of Atlanta phase completely irrelevant because they know that's usually where the pressure comes in. A BZ pushes right up the middle of the map. He gets nothing, so he tries to go on that flank. But he wasn't able to pick up that kill, which eventually allows the pinch to come on in. You take care of him, and then eventually you take care of Simp. They're just making the SMGs try to overextend in some of these gunfights. Oh, and Big Cap instantly through the middle. He's got the information. Cuts away a BZ, so plant denied. Bomb is down instantly. A massive, massive spot that Florida has found himself in. Cap with a lot oh, no. of real estate. He's got to clean it up. Thankfully, Havoc is there to save the day. Wonderful work coming in from DJ Cap as FaZe now left in a very precarious spot. Sip goes for the instant chow on Tefello. Dodging Wait. for bullets. And with that, we are into a 1v2. So now if you are Florida, you know that the bomb is down at B. Don't give this guy another one-on-one -on -one engagement, oh. but just the positioning right there in those final couple of moments. Florida able to shut down Simp. What would have been a 1v4 clutch. Black Rack crazy, super patient towards top gas. He's able to line up that shot onto Simp. Three rounds in a row now for Florida. They're coming out swinging in the search and destroy. Yeah, they are, man. This is impressive work. So far yeah. from the Mutineers, this is the search destroy squad that we really wanted to see since this team formed back at the start of the major three qualifiers. As we've discussed, this squad, since they have formed two and seven in their entirety in search, but right now they are taken to the best search destroy team on their best map. Up four rounds to one. We'll see if they can make it five, and it all very well could stem off of one sniper bullet. Fellow aware of what could be the push toward the back. He's got Simp and Slasher to deal with. A stun to try and avoid. As Simp has now made his way inside of PD. A lot of things to work with. A lot of things to keep in mind if you're the Mutineers. You've allowed for somebody to get behind enemy lines. In the meantime, Selium finds that opening pick. Oh, that's a big kill onto Havoc because he was the guy that was able to sneak his way on through Kitchen. Was trying to be the playmaker for Florida, but gets easily oh. read. And unfortunately, Fellow 
Not able to find that trade onto Simp, but at least Rack is there for that situation. Another 3v2. Left up to Brack and Fellow. This time the bomb is on their side of the map, but land of phase, they are on budget. They have every single cross watched. And Slasher, Celium, they set up the crossfire. Now it is all on the Brack. 1v2 now. 18 seconds to go, but this has really been the story of a lot of these search destroy rounds. Somebody left at a 1v3, 1v4, and the bomb is on the opposite side of the map. Phase stabilize. And after, what, four rounds, they finally put one up on the board. Still some life. Swing round ahead. Swing round is ahead. I just think if you are Florida, you got to continuously keep shutting down that B pressure. Don't allow that quick bomb plant to go down, or even if you do, be there in a situation where you can instantly try to go for the trade. Do not allow a BZ or a SIP to roam around and be the playmakers that they are. Their pre pressure has been shut down the last couple of rounds. Make sure you take top PD. We might see a BZ go for his dolphin dive right off the top windows. And already puts himself in a position to get this bomb down. Should have put that bomb in the hands of Simp. He might look easy. Instantly toward the ladder. Yeah, he'll spot Brack. <laughs> and so with that, Florida with some information, but they know that someone's going to be on that bomb as it has quickly been planted. A BZ does get found out. Lovely first blood coming in from Capsidal. And now Simp will decide to edge himself in the corner. Florida have got to know Simp's got to be around here somewhere. At least takes one to the grave before he falls. 2v3 for FaZe. Now make it a 1v3 for Selium. Dead silence popped and he'll get every bit of usage out of it. One player toward the Oh, 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 oh. is there to stop him. 4 HP is all it takes to stay alive. And from there, the mutineers now find themselves on that point. Successful once again on the retake. You know that the tiny terrorists like to put themselves around towards sign. You get that first blood onto a BZ. You know that Simp is the guy that planted bombs so he couldn't have gotten far. They sent both their SMGs through bottom orange. They're able to find the trade. And then you know, the last two players up for Atlanta phase are Selium and Slasher. They're gonna both put themselves in a clutch situation, a clutch spot. You take care of the guy back planners and I thought Selim hit a great route to potentially yeah. clutch up on that round but the dead silence runs out Brack gets the sound cues and Florida are now at game point see if they can finally close out Atlanta phase so many teams have tried nine different times they've ran on to embassy search and destroy and nine different times they've taken it could this be the moment for Florida? Could this be the round for the Mutineers? Currently, you've got three players alive and two of them are in the same spot. Meanwhile, it is Capsule, pretty much off by himself, by his lonesome over in that corner near Orange. He could have a fight soon with Selium. In the meantime, fellow with that sniper, he and Slasher have definitely greeted each other a few times, maybe tossed out a few waves. This next kill is going to be huge. Yeah, fellow just trying to play for Slasher. He knows that he's the guy that's playing over towards A. Might have been able to spot at least his shoulder. And now you definitely see him, but it's going to be really, really difficult to hit this shot. <laughs> Slasher, usually a guy with has that has competitive integrity, but he's adapted oh. to his roster. Selling with a huge one-on-one -on -one versus Cap, but at least Brack makes it a 2v2. Oh, and Simp is able to take Brack away. Goes for the instant chow. Give it to Simp. Takes away two. Sell him, though, I feel like. Definitely had one of the more highlight plays that we've seen so far throughout this search and that 1v1 versus Cap. Capsule tosses out the stun. MC quickly goes for the chow. And Atlanta remain alive. Five rounds to three. Now they just got to figure out what they want to do on attack. Every single time they went for that B bomb plant, it's either been retaken pretty easy from Florida or instantly shut down on the side of Florida. So what do Atlanta phase decide to do different this time around? Going to send Selium towards the deep street. Bomb carrier is going to be sent, pushing on his way out towards B2. And this might catch Florida off guard. Nobody's ready for this push. Yeah, they pretty much just put everybody in the box inside of middle of BZ, not expecting the crafty plays. They're out of Brack. So a very fast paced round now comes to a halt. A three versus three minute on the clock, and that bomb is not far away from the A site. Meanwhile, for the Mutineers, not really anybody in ear's distance. Capsule's going to have to get a move on. As that nade is tossed, you can see the arrows from Florida beginning to adjust. 
Let Florida know the pressure is definitely going to be over towards A. You start a slasher just keeping two players from Florida at that B bomb. So it's all going to fall into the hands of Capsidal. Who's getting a couple sound cues, but Sally and Sim looking like the dynamic duo just double jump towards the gas. Not able to find that kill, but this is where Capsidal can strike. Capsidal tries to strike. Wonderful work coming in from Sally and Sim. Trying to make a brack movement to full one. Flasher on the fellow brack. Last one alive. Able to drop one, two more to go. Knows that Slasher's out of the fight. Has to go for the quick gel. On to MC. But FaZe, hold strong. Play aggressive to start. Things slow down for a moment, and that's when the wheels begin to turn. Great work from Atlanta. That's now back to back for FaZe. Those are big mid-round adjustments, mid-game adjustments out of Atlanta FaZe. They know that the pressure's usually coming right up the middle of the map. They're playing to shut down our B push. So with the complete blind counter to put pressure over towards the parking lot side, sell it, simp finds the timing. He gets the first blood and then even when the game slows down, they do not panic. They were just playing for that information. Once Captain will give up his positioning, they able to take him down and eventually work that palm plant. Atlanta face, Sessity is far from over. Right up for Atlanta, take a look at those arrows. Three strong to the bottom side of the map. They did have that information. They know the cross is in. All out push over toward B. It'd be easy the first one to hop in. <laughs> How about the tiny tears? The Dolphin oh my. sets up Simp. It's a BZ from the top. And instantly, it is Capsidal left oh. by his lonesome. Incredibly clean as the tiny tears stand tall and now have brought us to a round 11 after being down five to two. Man, it's just these mid-round adjustments. They know how Florida have been liking to play their attack in rounds. You take embassy control, you put the pressure to them. And so far, that has been leading to nothing but success for Atlanta FaZe. Tiny Terrors just take over in that round. Find three to now force this round 11. And they're on defense again. Oh, this is going to be tough. Oh, and fellow, you got to be kidding me. Not able to land that early shot. All pressure on the mutineers can they finally tame the beasts here on embassy and as you said on the attacking side go florida here in round 11 everything slows down for a moment and boy would a pick from fellow mean everything right now for florida no one's on the side of the map no one is trying to contest this sniper they're just maintaining oh. middle map control simp is able to fly in and find that first bud fellow actually gets the hit marker on him as well so that's kind of not the best case scenario, but Simp is eventually going to get traded 3v3, 3v2 now. All up to Selium and Slasher. Can they keep the streak alive? Fellow with that sniper. Selium goes for the chow. Selium jumps out, and now it's all up to Slasher. Dodging bullets, and eventually is found out. Some smiles and some smirks. That's all we get for the Mutineers, but for FaZe, it's got to be frustration made an incredible comeback down five to two they get it to around 11 and that embassy search and destroy record now has got a one in the loss column incredible work there from florida and incredible composure jay i mean if you're a fellow you get that snipe on the simp not only yeah. does he stay alive but he gets the first blood on your teammate so many opportunities for the mutineers could have crumbled but they stay alive and now they bring it to a 1-1 one, one score line. And that's a much, much needed map. Wasn't expecting them to take it because that's usually Atlanta phase's best search and destroy, but their game plan was flawless. You shut down that B-bomb pressure like the dust touched on it. Don't allow that bomb plant to go down. They were able to hold strong on that end, but even in these final couple of rounds where Atlanta phase started to make a couple adjustments, Florida Mutineers, that round 11, played it super slow. They were playing from the pressure from the Tiny Terrors. They were locking down PD. No one was going to be able to get into that building. And even if they did, at least the trade was going to be there. Great work from Florida Mutineers to tie the series up up one with some great game plans in that S&D. Yeah, all good things must come to an end. And it felt like for Florida, 
They've definitely been watching some face VOD. There is oh, yeah. no doubt about it. They did everything that they needed to. And even that led us to a round 11. Just goes to show how formidable of an opponent that Atlanta phase are. But as we said, it's a 1-1 series. Now, when we come back after the break, we are headed to a good old hotel control. Make sure and stay with us. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Call of Duty League. Lando and Stud closing out week number one of our major four qualifiers. Currently, a series going down between the Atlanta Phase and the Florida Mutineers. Mutineers just shocked the world and handed Atlanta Phase their first loss on Embassy Search to Destroy. It was wild scenes. We even saw a round 11. So we've already seen some history made, Jay, and I'm curious if history 
maybe is a theme for this series because I did a little bit of research coming into this matchup. You and I were chatting about it. It was like, when's the last time that Florida as a franchise has actually beaten Atlanta? We have to go all the way back to 2020. We're going to week 10 of the Paris home series. We don't even do that stuff anymore. It has been over a thousand days since oh. the Florida Mutineers franchise has taken down Atlanta phase in an official series. And I say that because if we talk about different themes that have continued, you and I always know this, if Florida can win a control, it's interesting because Atlanta, every loss that they have this season comes from a control loss. Yeah, except for the last one. When they played against the NYSL, they were able to win the control, but they ended up falling short all the way in that game number five. I think if you are Florida... <laughs> Winning that Embassy Search and Destroy would do wonders for your gameplay. Momentum is definitely going to be on their side. Atlanta face, they're not going to be worried about it, but you are feeling a lot better if you are Florida Mutineers not being down 2-0 in this series, going into a control where it's about 50-50 for these guys. The overall organization has a record of 5-7, and seven, but this squad specifically has a record of 2-2, two and two, and their most recent loss was versus the Minnesota Rocker at that home series. And... The biggest thing that I took away from watching them was just simply their slang. Like, Cap, he did not have a good map on this map right here. He did not have a good performance. Yeah. But if he's able to turn it around with the aggression that he's been able to prove so far in that map number one, leading into that map number two, he's a guy that can really set the tone early. Yeah, he absolutely can. We know right whenever he played on Boston Breach last year what I mean, his incredible nature is. Sometimes he's Great start. consistent. <laughs> whenever he is playing, he is absolutely frying. As you said, I went back to uh, to see the hotel control performance. Negative 24 went 12 and 36. So not good. A much better hotel control performance out of him. But Jay, I'll be honest. I mean, he helps kind of lead the opening, uh, you know, slay out essentially for the Mutineers. But the rest of the squad pretty much handles the rest of it. Mutineers, the early B zone capture and to A we go. And they found a couple kills as well. All of Atlanta face coming all spawn. So these kills are going to be massive. As Havoc at least takes down a BZ, but for all the players that are in towards the same point on the side of Atlanta face, you have to at least win the trade battle. Slasher, he's able to line up two headshots, but Capsule is there for the trade. The rest of his teammates are able to strike as Selium finds the last two. So they shut down that initial push from Florida. And I have to think of the game plan. It's all about maintaining kitchen side at Atlanta face. They're being the aggressive, they're trying to push on out, but Cap cuts them down. Yeah, it's just so annoying as a Florida player. Like, okay, I'm going to back up, wait for my teammates off the of spawn. No, I have four players, all from Atlanta Face, trying to chase me back to my base. Just the way that it goes when you're facing off against this Face squad. They are all out aggression at all times. As things do slow down for the moment, it's basically just waiting for Florida to make that first move. Nate's tossed out, trades still back and forth. Mutineers with two men alive will have to wait for the rest of their squad to come off the respawn. Minutes still left to go. Definitely still doable here for Florida, but first job, Jay, is to just clear the first wave of face players, and right now they are not doing it. Yeah, they're not winning any gunfights right now. Atlanta FaZe are able to hold strong on this aggression up through kitchen. Now you gotta force Florida to try to overextend, try to push through the run of map, because they know if you go through kitchen, you gotta check every single corner. It's never gonna be an easy gunfight, especially going up against Sip and Ibizi, but they find an opening through middle. Caps with the big kill, Havoc with the second. This might be the opportunity that Florida were looking for. It is indeed still waiting for somebody to hop on that objective. There we go, time's gonna be paused. Now 33 seconds, it is a quick two to two trade. Now it's gonna be up to Slasher in the back, pulling out the Vaznev, why not? It is the right place for it. Love the way the Faze have been playing. This A zone defense, just not wanting to turtle up, wanting to force the issue consistently, trying to force it constantly. Now 15 seconds to go. Last ditch effort here for, for the Mutineers. Last push, and at least Havoc's able to open up with the first. So you just want to take your time on this pinch. Every single player has to try to win a crucial one-on-one. -on -one. They're able to get in towards the point, but Atlanta phase, they just cut them all down. Last player is Havoc. He cannot stop the clock as Atlanta phase holds strong over towards that eight point for two minutes to secure the first defense of the map. Yeah, man, like I said, I think it's impressive, right, that phase were able to do that. How often do we talk about restaurant is pretty much a given. I know at the end of the game, it's you know, a little bit of a different scenario, but... As you said, two minutes where Florida instantly caps that first zone. And from there, all the pressure is put on to phase. And, you know, despite maybe not being in the more advantageous positioning when it comes to defense versus offense, I felt like they just had no problem. Like I said, chasing kills, trying to be as aggressive as possible. 
just felt like for the mutineers they could not find a kill with it without escaping with their life great job here from atlanta on the defense we'll see if they can translate that now toward offense as they begin to pretty much diverge right into the center of the map they've got two players on b they've got somebody also at that a zone quite a bit of map positioning from atlanta we'll see how florida looks to deal with it yeah florida just gotta deal with it over towards this b point gotta try to take them off of this site it's gonna be all lot pressure through to the map sip is at least able to find one before he does get cut down the second segment is already in the stack is gonna be here great shots from slasher i don't know if he's different without a hat on lando but <laughs> so far in the respawn slasher has been taken over he's able to earn himself that cruise yeah but i'll tell you what uh, i don't know if you checked it out or not the atlanta phase youtube channel slasher sweets indeed it could be a youtube or rather a youtube series Stay tuned for it right now on a sweet spree. We'll see if he can continue it with some crispy shots. Eventually does get found out, foiled in the end. So I guess, Jay, this is an instant comparison. Atlanta phase, well, they were able to hold pretty much for two minutes on this A zone on defense. We'll see if Florida now can do it as well. Yeah, Florida has to try to mimic the okay. same exact thing. And Abizi is going to assist them a little bit. A shooting selling him in the back, which eventually leads to Havoc taking him down. So already wave done. It's all about maintaining this map control, staying pushed out towards Kitchen, doing a great job of just funneling in towards this side of the map. Don't want to chase this skill, though. There's multiple players outside this door. Abizi's just going to fly in. He's going to go for the challenge out to Havoc. He's able to win it while his teammates are still putting on the oh. pressure. This is a bad situation right now for Florida. Oh, wonderful work there from Abizi. My goodness. Simp as well. Able to find the third. It is Capsule left between a rock and a hard place. Wanting to go for the challenge. We know how eager this man is to try and foil things. Eventually, he does get found out. That is now two segments over at A. One more to go. One last effort here for Florida. Brad goes for the dive. He will fall. A bees. He's got players below him. 1v1. Now inside, it's Selium who takes it in from their phase. Will win the round. Excellent job here from Atlanta. Up 2-0. to zero. And that all comes down to just a BZ doing what the BZ does best, man. Winning those close range engagements, even when you think it's basically impossible, he's still somehow, some way, going to put himself in a position to come out on top. Once he finds those two kills in towards Kitchen, those players are going to spawn all the way across the map because his teammates were already through double arches setting up that pinch. You allow those kills to go in their favor. Atlanta phase find all of them after that. Stack is in. Win the big one-on-one -on -one versus Capsule. Turns the final end. Now that puts them up 2-0 on the map. Do you think close it out here? It has been pretty much easy picking so far at that V zone. Really for both squads. As we said in this phase, they've come out on top. Both on attack and on defense. And this time for Florida, they do decide to initiate pretty much everybody over at that A zone. Wanting to really kind of play this a little bit more comfortably, a little bit more calm. Taking a look at those numbers overall, Jay. Fellow, not the greatest of performances, 3-10. and 10. You see him stepping up alongside the rest of the squad, and well, we can see Mutineers maybe finally put a one-up on that scoreboard. It all starts by just closing out these points. Already the second segment is going to be in, but players from Atlanta base, they're not going to give this one up for free. BZ and Sim do fall, though, so now the only player here is going to be Slasher. He's just trying to play for a couple exit kills. They actually leave him to a 1v1, but Brack is able to clutch on up. They're trying to transition over. They're trying to chain it over towards this B point. It's all about these kills, but Selium, he's able to find two, relieve that pressure, shut down that initial push. We've seen FaZe. Lockdown defense at A for two minutes. Now can they do it over at B? The continuous theme, as you said, Jake, coming into this was the lack of slang for Florida. We saw it really be on Capstool in that game versus Minnesota. I know I just called it out for fellow, I believe four and 10 or four and 11 right now. And that little difference, that little situation, that one little stat nugget could really be the defining factor in what could allow for Florida to eventually get onto this B zone. Oh. Crack does get dropped toward the bottom side. And from there, phase clear. Another wave, a minute and a half away from calling this game number three theirs. And Florida now put in a situation where they have to make a decision. Do we wrap back and try to fight out bed? We have no bedroom control. As a BZ. And Selium already pushed that towards back plat. Selium oh. finds himself on a five spree. Could potentially earn himself a cruise missile if he can pick up another. And he does just that. 17 and 9. Cruise missile earned. Already a minute down. Florida, they cut their losses. They're deciding we gotta go for the overextension. Let's stop fighting bed. 
Great little push now brewing for the Mutineers. They actually don't decide to go for the full flight. They send everybody through middle. And that does not work out greatly at all. Tyler Fellow, yeah, he's found oh, man. two Mutineers. It felt like they had something good going and instantly it is dropped. Now 40 seconds on the clock. They're really going to try to do it again. Oh. Sam tries to go for the dolphin dive. That would have been absolutely terrifying if he was able to grab it. But 30 seconds to go. Maybe one last good push. And Capsule jumps out with no teammate support. Sloppy plays here for Florida. Yeah, Florida just can't find their way in. Even when they're trying to overextend Atlanta phase, have read the play beautifully with only final 15 seconds on the clock. At least they have somewhat better control, but Slasher and Abizi, they combine for two. Fellow and Capsule still trying to keep it alive. Just have to take down Sympicillium. It's never an easy task. Time is starting to tick, and this is looking like a land of phase and a clean three up. Yeah, just going to say, you said for a moment, like, okay, Florida, there's a chance. All you got to do is take down Sympicillium. Not an easy task. Not one that Not I all. think I would ever complete in my entire life, as a matter of fact, but... Bronze rank, brother. Uh, you know, actually, we're in silver, Jay. I'll be honest. We have. Uh, we oh, have nice. Lately, yeah. It's uh, you know, I don't, I don't like to talk, but I don't like to gloat all that much. But you know, we have upgraded. And so I phase 3-0 here at the hotel control. Uh, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, it's just hard to avoid fellow stat line here. Like, just because of what you said, I know he has seven assists. You know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I felt like the team necessarily just wasn't in a good say to buy when it came to certain pushes like at the end it yeah. just felt like their work toward the ending you know stages of that last round just weren't great not everybody and it's right line of cohesion but you said it yesterday like when it came down to that series versus minnesota they got out slayed i mean obviously most players go negative here outside of cap which is a, a which is a welcoming sight but six and 15 you need every single person to at least putting up consistent numbers if you're going to take down any team let alone atlanta yeah, you got to make sure you're at the top of your game when you're playing against some of the top teams in the league. And versus Atlanta phase, if you struggle in the slaying, it's never going to be an easy task to try to take this team down. So if you are Florida Mutineers, you just got to completely forget about this map. And it's not going to be easy because of the way Atlanta phase were able to do it. It's not like Florida came out and did absolutely nothing. They started off this map by closing out that B point immediately. Only needed to capture A, but... Just those gunfights were just not easy. Simp and Abizi always staying pushed out towards Kitchen. Even with them dropping, Slasher even picked up a bad name and he was holding down that position. <laughs> so all of Atlanta phase played that extremely correct. They held down the power spots. They made the kills a lot more easy. They forced Florida to funnel in certain areas and played right into their hand. Atlanta phase looking kind of different, man. It's usually when we talk about Atlanta, it's always about their search and destroy. Their respawn has been lacking. But from map one to map three, map three was flawless and map one was almost there. This is scary if you are Florida, because now you have to win an embassy hardpoint where they have an overall one and seven record. This is not good. Yeah, this is, uh, it definitely gets, you know, more worrisome for sure. It, you know, it's, it feels like if you were to tell me like, you know, the Mutineers were going to win a map out of the first three, I would, you know, definitely assume it was going to be pretty much anything other than the embassy search destroy. But yeah, here we are two for two in respawns. We'll see if FaZe can make it three for three or if we will be going to that Mercado search destroy, which is pretty fun, Jay, because well, Florida, they managed to, uh, to beat Atlanta and they're what, one of their best search destroy maps, a map that they were undefeated on. That yeah. game five as well, which is going to be guaranteed if you are the Mutineers uh, in terms of like, if you can win this Embassy Hardpoint, you're going to have to play that Mercado. Maybe they have the chance to do it again. Maybe they have that special sauce when it comes down to this Embassy HP, though. Don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. Who does it have to be? What are the players or rather what players are you looking out for on this map specifically? Uh, I'm definitely looking at fellow. Didn't really have the best performance in that map. Number three, this is a guy who has the ability to play really well for his team, lead them in the communication, and also lead in the slaying. So on a map like Embassy, where he is running that man AR for this squad, he has to be the guy to really set the tone, hold down the power positions, make sure he's setting up his teammates, his SMGs to just roam freely, spawning on the better side of the map. So that's the biggest thing, because Atlanta phase on some Embassy hardpoint, they simply suck at rotations. They do not put themselves on the better side of the map for, for the beginning of these hills. But then on the opposite side for Florida, like I said, one in seven record, you know the stats aren't good. They are dead last in holes. They are dead last in breaks. So if you're giving up rotations to Atlanta phase, it's over in three. I mean, it's over in four. Yeah, and, and honestly, too, like, I, I do see a few opportunities here for 
the mutineers maybe to, to walk away with this map or to at least make it competitive, just given the fact that, you know, if you are at Lanza phase, as we know, man, you called it out. I think Ali was bringing it up or he had been tweeting about it lately when it comes down to Atlanta phase, like just when it comes down to the way that they've been playing hardpoint, at least lately, like it's not really based off rotations. They're banking on those breaks, breaks. They're banking on banking on those holds once they manage to have the hardpoint in their grasp. Phase are coming off of a 3-0 win. You know, they felt like they had the chance to maybe close this one out in three if one round goes differently. Maybe if you're the Mutineers, as you said, you see some consistency maybe coming in from this man and Cat. Maybe Havoc goes on a little bit of a spree. You win a few of those rotations. You absolutely can make Phase work for this W. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. You got to win a couple rotations, and this is a guy that you have to shut down. 1.77 already on the series. Like... If Selium is ever under a 1.0 KD, I need to let I need you to let me know because I think it's a super rare thing, like a rare candy in Pokemon. It just simply does not pop up. He's just different, man. Florida starting off on the better side. They're gonna try to play for some P1 time, but Sim with the Kobe right to the face of Capsule takes him off of that. Instantly, I love that. Selium just a rare Pokemon. Okay, I, I never really collected Pokemon cards, but I tell you what, if I got a rare Celium, I, I would I would keep that for sure. I don't know oh yeah, what, what without question. Would be. I'll get him to sign it and everything. That's my guy, MacArthur. He's definitely a hollow, but if he was a Pokemon, which one would he be, you think? Um, Charizard, because he's literally godlike, so. Easy, love that pick, Jay. I don't know anything about Pokemon, but I know who Charizard is. Into the heart, nice. one we go, and it's Big Cap. Starting things off nicely, I'd love to say Big Cap. Instant work into the P1 as he looks to get things going, everybody in search of those bottom side spawns currently it is going to be a two versus two fight everybody spawns up and now long range shots rack versus slasher and well that van will do all the work for good old litigo the headbutt into the point we go phase with a minor lead phase with the minor lead and selium was working his way towards back gas but fellows able to sniff him on out so if you are florida at least you put yourself in a great position to find this break on this hill or at least not allow it in the face to get a majority of this time great shots from having to take down sim you got slasher at one hp somebody hit a stun someone hit an aid but nothing's gonna come over the top as the trophy system is gonna keep him alive and eventually sets up a bz on the pinch he finds two selling with the lured last player up is gonna be capsule but now it's all gonna be about this rotations with phase finding a couple kills gonna be a man disadvantage already wow. at the next and that's not a good way to start you need to make sure you set up at these hills early if you are floor yeah, these are some great spawns as well that Atlanta are getting. I think if BZ spawned up in orange, makes the hit to allow for the pitch to be solid for phase. Spawns up again over at middle. Then Atlanta have those numbers to now pretty much bounce their way quickly into the ACs. This is pretty much the hard points, Jay, that we look at when it comes down to embassy. It is going to be this hard point as well as the next one. All about the top side of the map. Both teams will battle and duel to try and lock it down early time was going the way of Atlanta. However, a few members from Florida waltz their way on in, and now they could be in threat of a lead change. It could be, but you still have to worry about a BZ who's just trying to take you off, take his time in towards Orange, because you know he is currently one shot. Get that player off the time for now, but he eventually he goes for the child. Beautiful crossfire set up by fellow sitting in towards top ET to at least relieve some of that pressure. But Atlanta phase from top bridge able to get right back on in and with only 20 seconds left. Now you're gonna force Florida off that rotation, and that's a big two kills because at least you're relieving some of that pressure yeah. from old. Yeah, I think you're happy with that if you are the mutineers. All things considered, early rotation for phase. We talked about how AC can absolutely be a money hill. You make him work for it, and you ultimately pretty much do not lose the rotation. We'll see what Slasher can do in the meantime toward the back end as he'll actually be able to tap away at Fellow. So by no means, all forces up currently for the Mutineers. And toward the back, Bays are going to waltz their way in. Brack lines up two and make nice. three. Wonderful work there from Mr. Newberry as he delivers a triple, and the Mutineers begin to watch what hopefully should be a lead change and maybe... A solid lead earned, 35 seconds to go in office. Yeah, that was great plays from Brack and Havoc. The only two players there for Fuller to be in years at the time. Brack is able to find three. Shut down that initial push from Atlanta phase. So now with 25 seconds left, this is where Atlanta tend to make a couple mistakes. They're still challenging goal with only 20 seconds left. We have to hit that rotation over towards Kitchen. But at least they win a couple gunfights. They're able to get those close spawns over towards next, but... Florida with a great hold over towards P3. Give themselves a nice little 30-point lead. Yeah, and with a few of those light challenges, again, you're going to have some guys sitting in the respawn screen. So 
that does allow for the mutineers to pretty much weasel their way throughout the map pretty much uncontested and if you had you know again those players rotating it may not be as easy we'll see what the mutineers can do with a slim to maybe not at all type of advantage capsule 12 and 9 for an elite initiate a little bit of something inside of the kitchen he eventually flounders but for the rest of the mutineers you necessarily can't say the same fellow pulling out that vast and watching <laughs> work great work coming in from tyler fellow lead continuing to grow now for the mutineers they know where phase are at and they are running at them wonderful job here for the mutineers and we'll see if they can lock the remaining 20 seconds down yeah this is a big time right here if you can get this if you are florida you know where the pressure's coming in from just got to win these trade battles this capsule is going to start it off fortunately he's only able to take down one back of actually gets shut down as well so atlanta phase they find the break with about 10 seconds left so that remaining time is going to be theirs but what a first set of rotations in the hard points from florida yeah. get a great answer keep p3 scrappy full 60 hold at p4 about 30 to 40 seconds in towards kitchen exactly how you want to answer to try to force that game five yeah like it, like you said it just kind of feels like they're pretty focused on what the game plan is like they're not necessarily trying to run with the likes of atlanta phase just trying to rotate trying to set up establish what they can and i think uh you know as we talk about it so often man like i said the p3 to p4 rotation great work to at least make phase work for acs they hold down pretty much all the time over at the office and that's the score line that you're going to see pretty much nine times out of ten but speaking of numbers as we said that p2 is what we are focusing on and mutineers are not about to let it slide three members toward the bottom phase awarded the final 13 at p1 and from there mutineers are essentially going to make atlanta have to go for the attack here yeah they have to force them to rotate at least find a break because all of florida they're ready for the push they know where the pressure is coming in from hopefully brack has a trophy system to assist them but no slasher with the nade is now going to be able to take street control florida mutineers are in a very sticky situation they're getting those close spawns towards back gas but you don't want to allow atlanta face to get this next wave of kills and eventually spawn you guys out but what a repitch coming in from havoc Secure those spawns for his team. Brack finds a third, capsule with the fourth, and finally, Florida able to get on that point. Yeah, they had to work for it. They had to allow for a few kills to go the opposite direction, but that pinch eventually does get established. Wonderful work there from Havoc. Oh, oh. great shots covered in from Capsule. Was not firing on all cylinders yesterday versus Rocker, but he is now confident as you'd like. Just runs right into the line of sight there of Slasher, regardless of it. 13 seconds still to fight for at P2, but it is Mutineers in commanding lead. And now, Jay, we're already talking about it for phase. This has got to be a lockdown hill. Last time it was not. Yeah, you got to get some good time if you are Atlanta phase. And with Selium dropping in that position that he was, it's not going to make it any easier because you know at least one player from Florida is working that deep flank over towards PD, but so is Sim on the flank towards top bridge. He's able to cut down two. Slasher reads the play from Havoc, and they maintain the better side of the map. So far, this has been uncontested. 20 seconds. Atlanta phase. Great hole. It's a great position as well from Selium, so that is going to be player six and Simp, who's also spawning toward the top side of the map. So phase doing what they have to and pretty much setting up an escape route. Regardless of how these gunfights go, they're going to be in a good position regardless of it. And with that, Slasher wins his fight. Final 20 look good to belong to phase. Another lead change inbound as well as a big 1v1 happening over at the office. Player 5 versus player 1. We'll see if Selium or Capsule is able to take it. He will fall. Florida gets scrapped. Phase get rotation. Now this time around, Atlanta phase, they're going to be able to set up for this P4 hill. Take down the player that was coming off hold. You're cutting down the hallways. Unfortunately, selling him with that team kill onto a BZ. Might cause them some problems. Where are the last two players from Atlanta Faze going to spawn all the way across the map towards mid tennis. So it's going to be Florida just flooding on into the hill. Every single body flies on in. They find the kills and they get the break. Yeah, they see that, that, uh, that team kill pop up and the kill feed. They're like, all right, boys, let's go. Let's get into this. Taking advantage of every opportunity are the Mutineers. Back and forth we go. A wild embassy hardpoint so far. And it looks to only elevate itself that much more. Mutineers continue to lock it down. 20 seconds still to fight for. And Slasher wants every single point. Mutineers will lock up the final 15. And now the rotation comes in toward Kitchen. 
Last time around, Jay, it was an early break from Florida, and no pun intended, but it was all out chaos, all out havoc. When it came down to the Vaznevs, here from the Mutineers, can they do it again and extend their advantage? Let's step aside though and go to the comms and listen with Atlanta Phase. Too close, right? Yes, bro, got one, man. Got one, got one. Got one. I'm just too close, right, bro? Okay, so I'm gonna break here, okay? Orange on me, chow me. He's their sign. Dump sign. Come left, come left, come left. Uh, I mean, I mean, fine. He's got it, he's got it. That guy's gonna spawn up, right? I spawned on orange, guys. Yeah, good. Like, like, like. Just like, one shot, dead. I was just funny, I'm just trying to go fast. Back alley, back alley, time. One shot, back alley, cap. I'm trying, 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 I'm playing bridge, I'm playing bridge. Hey, look, we need, we need pressure on this. Yeah, yeah, we got to. I'm staying top office. One's P2R right now. In, in cafe, one shot, that, one shot in cafe. That's your one, that's your one. That's your one time, that's your one time. We cafe to time, we can to this. I'm I mean, that's, those are fine comms, but it's it's not equaling out to anything, Jay. I mean, it's an instant break over at Kitchen, and now we're less than 15 seconds away from calling game here for the Mutineers and having a game five forced. Florida. They just came out swinging, man. They find the break in towards Kitchen. Hold it for basically a full 60. And now only 14 points away from oh. forcing this game number five. Atlanta fans have to start playing some perfect cut. You gotta make sure you don't allow them to get any time off this P1, but you wanna fight these gunfights towards the backside of parking lot. You're trying to maintain that P2, but Florida Mutineers, 12 seconds away. All someone needs to do is hop on the point, but they're thinking about playing for those spawns. You see Havoc, he has yet to move from Xbox to change anything up but how about capsule so far throughout this series he has been a man on a mission 0.5 yesterday versus minnesota he's looking for a 1.5 here in this series only a few more points left here for the mutineers the final five will begin to take away at that first hard point and now to the parking lot we go havoc the first line of defense meanwhile it's capsule trying to Inch. pull the phase oh he can't oh win. he's not able to take it and now here comes Atlanta. Two members strong toward the back line. Crack, snaking his heart out. Give him the dub. Give him the victory. Game five. Here we come. What a hard point for Florida, man. They come out and they make the statement. They knew what the game plan was. We win a couple rotations. We will be able to set up properly and hold down some of these money hills. And even when they didn't win rotations, they were finding the breaks at the beginning of all of these hills. Atlanta phase, even with putting themselves towards the top AC spawns, towards that P4. They just couldn't get the proper setup, man. They're lacking in the fundamentals. And you see Florida were able to capitalize on it every single time. What a performance from Capsule. 32 and 27, almost 60 engagements on the map. But the other AR on the opposite side in Brack. 28 and 16, holding down the power positions. The Super Soaker alongside Fellow with almost two minutes in Hill. They just allowed the SMGs to roam free, maintain the spawns, and just played some beautiful, beautiful Embassy Hardpoint, man. This series is not going how I expected, <laughs> Lando, but somehow, some way, we are going to a game five. But Jay, are you surprised? Are you surprised? No, I, I, like I said, it's it, probably the jackets, man. Like, we're matching be. today. I tweeted out. I was like, you know what? I heard that apparently if you're matching with your duo, it means that you were going to game fives. Well, you and I have got two of those. That's that we yeah. needed the extra buff, but, uh, you know, we've got it today. Who would have thought Atlanta versus Florida going all the distance? Uh, it is what it is. Mercado Search Destroy up next. As we said, another technically map that FaZe is undefeated on. Can Florida make it back to back? Are they about to beat FaZe on Embassy and on Mercado? That would be wild, but that is what it takes to take down a roster like the Atlanta phase. You do not want to miss this. The conclusion to this series and this opening week here of our major four qualifiers will continue right after this break.
How's it going, friends? And welcome back to the Major Four Qualifiers. What a crazy and wild day that it has been. We came into this series talk about Atlanta Phase versus Florida Mutineers. We'd be happy if it at least saw a game four, considering uh, you'd imagine Atlanta are hungry to get a W. I guess you could say the same yeah. thing for the Mutineers, but they're off the 3 0 loss versus Minnesota yesterday at that Wisconsin home series. Now, Jay, I don't know what to think. Uh, you know, we're going to a game five. I, I I don't think any of us expected it to get here, especially in the way that it happened. Florida beat Atlanta on Embassy Search and Destroy. Can they beat them on Mercado too? That would be insane, brother, because we're talking about stats like Look at nine that. and zero on Embassy Look at SD. That. Atlanta phase undefeated on the map should have been an easy one for them but Florida clutch on up one in seven for Florida mutineers on embassy hardpoint and they make that one look easy you see the records for both of these teams three and oh for Atlanta phase we talk about the numbers for Atlanta everything on this map is number one first blood <laughs> attacking rounds defensive rounds everything goes in their favor but Florida they are just trying to keep their champ stream alive man taking a team down like Atlanta face can do wonders for your confidence going forward and magically making it to this game number five this is a crucial moment for both squads it is indeed in around one we go information game for either side Sit. oh well it should look like it was known he was stunned in the middle of the map but it does not matter him and BZ handling business and good night to Tyler Fellow. A statement round number one there for FaZe. I just meals. That was way too fast. You had Selian whip out the sniper. He's able to watch over Sip as he pushes right out the middle of the map through tunnel. He's able to start off with the initial two. And then when the trades are starting to be abound, a BZ whips out the AR and he's able to find the final two. Already the tiny terrors are making their impact felt. Early into this map, up 1-0 is Atlanta. Good God. All right. Well, as we said, Embassy Search Destroy was dominant for FaZe. There's a reason why nobody's been playing them on Mercado, though. Maybe for reasons like that. Scary indeed. However, pretty much a mimic strategy coming in for the Mutineer. Sniper over the top, fellow. Not able to hit it. In the meantime, they did send Havoc over through that middle tunnel. And this is a pick that he's going to need to find. Sent a BZ. A BZ again. Everybody winning their gunfight says now it is all left up to fellow a sniper and a pistol is all that he's got And we'll see what he can do four members to take down And a bomb that has got to get planted Tagged up and nearly bagged up Best of luck I can't believe Atlanta phase just didn't go for the eagle chow the guy's got a sniper pistol We can all just run at him. There's no way in hell. He's gonna be able to get four quick scopes in a row, but once again, the tiny terraces make it happen. First blood from Sim, a BZ there for the instant trade. Already starting off at 5-0. Oh. This has not been a good time for Florida. These rounds are going by super damn fast. Now that leads to Atlanta phase, already up 2-0. Oh. The Mutineers, I mean, like I said, two rounds that have quickly gone by. They were actually off of a loss on Mercado Search Destroy yesterday. They played a versus Minnesota, lost six rounds to three. Only positive really was fellow i feel like jay put up six snipes in that game alone other than that not really too much to speak of out of the mutineers the bc again with the first blood cuts away havoc slasher is there to drop fellow as well into the instant 3v2 and boy do you need an answer if you oh are the mutineers a quick 1v3 for cap what has he got 1v3 for cap slash is going for that stretch plant Stun comes in. They know exactly where he's coming from. Let me just tell you right now, I don't want to play Atlanta phase on this map. Just the way that they are playing it so far, non-stop aggression. They're not worried about the pressure in towards Cantina's because they have two of the best SMG players to ever touch the sticks in those initial engagements. Find another first blood that's so far three on the map for Atlanta phase. Now that leads to a flawless scoreline so far. 3-0 for Atlanta. We were talking about coming into this series, just in general, Jay. The fact that FaZe are on a three-series losing streak. It's the first time it's happened in CDL history. We're going to bring it up about how, well, okay. The easy drops off the rip. We're going to talk about how really for Atlanta, they've got to come in pretty much hungry. And you thought maybe coming into this game five, they'd have a few of those nerves. But by no means, feels like a Mercado. It's a chance for them to stretch their legs, keep that gameplay moving. All out aggression so far throughout our first three and a half rounds. And the Mutineers pretty much have that cantina door slammed right in their face. They'll back on up. 
And given that, Brack will actually stay here while the rest of the team decides to go for a bomb rotation. They're trying to play the mind games right now with Atlanta. With Brack holding down this position, he's hoping he gets a couple sound cues of a couple players trying to rotate off. And it looks like it might be working out perfectly. It's what Florida are trying to do. Gets him information on the slasher. Fellow's able to take him down. So it's all up to Simp and Cell. And they clutch up in the 2v3. Oh, Fellow. Great gunfight win versus Simp. You see the mind games that have absolutely been played. But Cellium. 1v3. Not able to take it. That round has Fellow's name written all over it. Not with the snipe, but this time with the tack. They get pretty much bruised and battered at the cantina. They make FaZe have to gamble, make them get a little uncomfortable by not actually expressing aggression. And with that, FaZe go for the rotation. They get cut out in middle map. In Florida, finally, after four rounds, Jay, they've got one. Yeah, that was good work from Florida to find that first blood onto a BZ. And then even when things got a little bit scary towards cantinas, they slowed down the game. They forced Atlanta to rotate. They played right into what they wanted them to do. Florida able to finally get one on the board, but now you just have to figure out how you want to stop this aggression. Over oh towards this eight bomb, another first blood for Abizi. Abizi finds two. He cannot be stopped, man. Oh, you know he wants to go for the third. He wants to go for the third. Selium takes it. Is it a hat trick? Not today. Not today. Brack thankfully finds one, and you can tell, man, you can tell for the Mutineers, they want to slow down the game, but they just cannot get a hardest on phase. They cannot slow them down. Brack trying to go for the cheeky angle, but it's not going to work out. FaZe lose one round, and they say, well, that looks to be all that we're going to lose. Aggression once more established. Four to one. They just got to figure out how to stop that Cantina's push, man. Because Atlanta FaZe and their SMGs are just not slowing down. No hesitation on that aggression over towards hedge side. They find another first blood on the round. Keep in mind that Abizi does have that cruise missile to work with, but he might not even decide to invest it with the way that they're currently playing in this map number five. I'd like to see Florida try to get another first blood with the nade, slow down that pressure, but it's all about just slowing down this game because you're playing into the hand that Atlanta face wants you to have. Havoc, their main man over at the Cantinas, thankfully, does get on the board after an 0-4 start. As we said, the main guy that really could be a, a threat inside of this part of the map. They have a slow performance, thankfully. He's able to get one with that. Phase wait. And look to play patient. All eyes onto the Mutineers. Bomb on the back of Fellow. Going to dive in on the bomb. Actually finds a pick there on a slasher. Quick 2v4. 2v4 now, and both the Atlanta players are here. Right into the push still. Through Cantina's fellow's just gonna fly out with the bomb. Selim eventually sets up the team oh. shots. Eventually tries to set up Sip to find two, but he's at least able to get out with his life. Now it's all up to Selim in a oh. 2v1 situation. Capsule's gonna line it up. I thought it got a little bit scary, but Florida Mutineers, just a couple more bodies on that side of the map, are able to win the trade engagements and come out on top in the round. Now down, 4-2. That was one of the most disrespectful 1v2s I've ever seen. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a 2v4. Sip and Selium just casually knocking a few away, and then Selium in the 1v2 just goes for the dolphin dive out the window. We've seen that happen a few times. Like, Krim back on checkmate, like in Cold War. Selium from the top side of the cantina goes for the dolphin dive. The craziest part is that he absolutely can win a fight like that. Regardless, four rounds to two. Swing round indeed. We'll see what the Mutineers can do with a little bit of life. Zabizi looks to bring in the streak and hopefully get them to that series point. Cruise Missile looking for information and does. It's off the building and that is Fellow who's caught. So now in the 3v4, Atlanta know that they have not all the pressure over towards B. Havoc tries to make the hero play, but he gets sniffed out. Now in the 4v2, left up the capsule. Hand Brack as that bomb is now going to be planted. Slasher holding back middle head glitch. Capsule is basically trapped. What can Brack do? He at least wins the initial gunfight and gets out with his life. Makes it a more manageable play, but simply cuts down Cap. Now it's all of the Brack. 1v3. Yeah, I know there's just not a whole lot of time left. Capsule's left in an awkward spot, but still just not a whole lot of cohesion there for the 
Mutineers, once that streak comes in, it's just all out chaos in this round. FaZe utilized that cruise missile perfectly. And from there, it's been a few rounds at times for Florida, but they deny the swing round, and now they've got pretty much everything going for them. As we said, Mutineers have had their moments, but Atlanta looking to close the series out here. And right there, Florida, they were playing for a different little look over there to try to stop that Cantina's push, but it was a complete blind counter on the side of Atlanta phase. They said, all right, we've been pushing you over towards that A-bomb every single time. You guys haven't been able to shut us down. But this time, we're going to catch you off guard with the cruise missile, use it to get the information to get the bomb down at B for free. It's now going to put Atlanta phase at game point and another uh -oh. dash over here towards the Cantina. Well, Selium takes down Slasher off the start. Normally, we'd be beginning to panic, but thankfully... Hey, it's a first blood. Uh, <laughs> that's true. I don't know if that actually counts as a first blood. We'll have to talk to our, uh, our stats guy, Tim, about that one. The BZ does find the first te technically kill when it comes down to the opposite side of things. Simp at the same oh, time man. finds one on to Havoc, a two versus three. Now for Florida. And what can they do given this position, given this spot? Looking to join up, brothers in arms. Can they come away with the clutch? Up to the arrows on the side of Florida. Making that rotation over towards B. Simp and Abizi are both still alive, so you know they're running around as an army of two, but Selium's also a part of them, so it's three of them that you gotta try to win gunfights versus. As the trophy is gonna get down, time is starting to tick. All of Atlanta phase here for the retake. Timing works out, fellow. Able to escape with his life. Both into 10, they go. Brack ends up dropping a BZ. Now it's up to Selium and Simp. Time continues to tick. Fellow jumps out and is able to win that one as well. So now it is up to Simp for the series, and he is going to go for the defuse. No way. In broad daylight. No in way. In broad daylight. Oh. oh my God. Florida go for the chow. They take him down. And it just feels like anything other than that play is what's expected. Simp punches in the digits and fellow the intuition to maybe just check to bomb the double or just to make sure, just to double check. And with that, the mutineers deny what would have been uh, hilarity. That's for sure, Jay. Yeah, Florida, we're able to clutch on up. In a 2v3 situation, Brack with a huge one-on-one -on -one versus the BZ. And then fellow, like you said, jumping out of top window, going for the child on to sell him, winning that 1v1. Such a crucial gunfight to keep them alive in this search and destroy. But how do you shut down this pressure towards green? You know where BZ and Sip are going to be. This time they get their trophy system down. Capsule is able to find the first blood. Already a different story. Oh my goodness. And Cap right in the canteen. Wow. BZ gets gifted to Florida. You did everything right. Except you didn't account for a BZ. Brings it in now to the 2v2. Position note of a few players. It's the double chow. And now it's all up to Brack. And there he goes. Atlanta phase. Deny Mutineers the upset. And managed to get their first win on the board here in the major four qualifiers. Florida made it close. They gave it all that they got. But it was not enough today. Phase with the game five win. Faze do what they do best, and that's in search and destroy in one of their better maps where they just take over, set the tone nice and early. You see the stat line from a BZ at four first bloods, 14 and five, 11 non-traded kills. He was just all over the map. Florida, they started to adapt as we got deeper into these rounds, but at that point, it was just too late. Atlanta Faze getting himself a nice little comfortable cushion in the score column. But they were able to just do exactly what they do best. And that's all out aggression towards that green side. Florida simply did not have an answer. And I thought they did in that final round. They yeah. get the first two kills. It's a 2v4 situation. But once you find those first two kills, you got to be able to slow it down. Hit the stop button. Just basically put your controller down because you don't want to give a BZ, especially in green, one-on-one -on -one after one-on-one -on -one to eventually turn it into a 2v2. Atlanta phase. They got it done. It wasn't pretty. But at least they were able to clutch up in that game number five on the opposite side for Florida. I thought they played a great series, man. You yeah. just got to go back to that map number one where that's usually a strong one for them. They usually like to, to play some hotel hardpoint, but 
Atlanta Phasers are a little bit more fundamentally sound on that map, number one, and eventually are able to close it out all the way into game number five to get their first win in the major. Yeah, I don't know about you, Jay, but it feels like we're going to leave this series kind of talking more highly about Florida than we will for yeah. Atlanta, despite FaZe walking away with the dub. I mean, I know we could talk about, you know, some of those hard point struggles. It feels like for the Mutineers, you just wanted to see them show out, play at least a competitive series, and they did it, right? They win that embassy, search, destroy. They look great on that embassy hard point. I think it's, it's fair to say Florida leave this series with some improvements to work on, and you can absolutely say the same about Atlanta phase. They've got to be ready for week two of our major four qualifiers, but thankfully they get the job done. They get the dub here today, but that's going to do it for myself and Jay. Back to back game fives desk. We did our best. Take it away, guys. Florida gave me so much hope. I had all of my points riding on that upset, <laughs> and I was starting to brag in the green room. But then all of a sudden, phase becomes phase, and BZ's like, let me just drop 14 kills this game five, and we'll send them packing. But that got sloppy for a little bit yes. there. Florida, definitely dangerous, especially if you allow them to play an embassy. Yeah, no, the fact that Florida pushed us to a game five, I completely agree with Jay and Lando and they're saying, you know, I'm definitely talking more high about Florida coming out that loss, having the strength of schedule ahead of them to push Atlanta to a game number five. That S&D on that search and on embassy was masterclass out of Florida Mutineers. They double hit the A side on both times on offense, catch Atlanta phase on off guard, and just some of the ways that they were countering the plays. Again, there's a lot of VOD review when it comes to Atlanta phase on that map. Nobody's just been able to actually put a stop to it. It, and finally, they're now 9-1. and one. Absolutely. We saw some switch-ups as well, fellow, with the sniper out making some plays in that game, too. But you also talk about the Embassy Hardpoint. Now, mind you, these are Atlanta Phase's two best maps, Embassy Hardpoint and Embassy s &D. Florida just beat Atlanta Phase on both of those, yeah. right? Uh, Capsido, big turnaround from yesterday's yeah. series versus Minnesota. Today, he played fantastic. Uh, they really, truly outclassed Atlanta Phase on that map. Uh, but in the end, when we look at this series, it's a Game 5 victory where Atlanta Phase took over win that search and destroy do exactly what they need to do uh and to me and i can't wait to get the interview so i can ask Sally. it seems like maybe some of their better maps things that have been their bread and butter are taking a dip because they're focusing on other things right interesting because yeah. there were some improvements that we saw like the hotel control if you look as of late like they've played hotel control i think in seven consecutive series they've lost three or four of those so today much cleaner hotel control that we saw and then also the hotel hard point look pretty damn good i think florida is just or sorry i I should say phase is just entertaining us this week that is 10 games 20 rounds in game <laughs> fives from atlanta phase this week the loss to nysl and then of course the victory tonight let's take a look at our play of the game though from the one game that was a clean sweep a 3-0 in control what made this squad so dangerous, Nameless? Yeah, I mean, what we saw throughout this control, they just established really good control, especially on their defense, no pun intended. We saw uh, Abizi and Stellium sitting up top bedroom, back and forth, and then just left Florida Mutineers in a tough situation, like, what do we want to do? Do we want to overextend? Do we want to wrap back? We're having no success anywhere. So clearly the comms are on point, and then as well as their offensive pushes, like, just timing them out perfectly when they converge and play off those kills. I was really impressed by their defense in this map simply because Atlanta phase where they have been hiccuping in those controls. It's been on that defensive end of things. They're ninth right now in the league when it comes to defense off of stage number three. So to see them win this in the 3-0 fashion and play their defense the way they did, they played their lives a little bit more. I felt like Symphony Beasy got a lot more comfortable on a map like Hotel where they should be comfortable. This is a map where Atlanta phase should be able to go a little rogue on. A lot of so on there, right? <laughs> like you said, it's good to see that they're getting better at it. It's time to bring in the one and only MacArthur. Welcome to the screen, Mr. Selium. How we doing today? Hey, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? I'm doing good. Excellent. Welcome back to the show. Tonight, I was expecting to get home a little bit early. With the sun still up, I was going to go out, enjoy some dinner outside. Now I'm eating indoors. Selium, what happened in this series? How did Florida take you all the way to a game five? Uh, I feel like our first SND, I feel like uh, I, I thought it was doing a really good job of how, how, like, park counting us, so I feel like uh, like that map was kind of like, it was close, but I feel like we could have taken like taken it still, and then the Embassy Hardpoint, I feel like uh, it's kind of it's kind of dipped, like like how you guys said, it's kind of like falling off a little bit, so I feel like after we get that on point, uh, it'll be, it should be cleaned up soon. 2.17 in your search and destroys today. What is it about that game mode that just makes you so comfortable? Uh, it's just our better and better. I feel like S&D is just how like, like our whole team loves it. So, I mean, it's just easy for me to like just get my picks and stuff, you know? 
Yeah, and of course, every game mode. I mean, are we right? I tell you, I mean, one of the best players in the game. I do have to ask, though, obviously, the numbers can only say so much. You know, me and others as viewers can only say so much about y'all's hard point watching it from outside of the game. But inside of the game, where do you guys feel like you're most making those struggles when it comes to your hard points? Because you have the talent on the roster, but for some reason, that's where you guys have kind of misstepping. Um, I feel like it's just our holding. I feel like sometimes when we hold, like, our team gets broken a lot, but, I mean, it's just a lot of things, to be honest. It's not really, like, like, I can't really pinpoint one okay. thing that we're, like, messing up on, but it's, I mean, it's, like, it's like a lot of things, to be honest. Uh, Selium, talk to me about control a little bit. So, I've noticed you guys are basically only playing Hotel. I know Expo's now in the mix. Uh, you've been on this team for a long time, and for the majority of that time, you guys have been dominant at control. Lately, that hasn't been the case. What are you guys working on? Uh, well, obviously our, our response aren't as like like what we want it to be, but um, our main focus right now is obviously hard point. But I still feel like our control needs to work. Like our hotel is getting better, like our hotel control is getting better. Mm -hmm. So um, after we clean up some of these maps, then the, like our series should be looking a lot more better. Are we gonna see Expo soon or what? Uh, I, I don't know. Like maybe I'm not sure. <laughs> Bring it out, buddy. We're <laughs> ready for it. Congratulations on a hard fought win against Florida. Before you go, real quick, are you streaming ranked anytime soon? When can I watch the stream? Uh, I'll probably be streaming in the next couple of days uh, on Twist TV slash Stellium, so if you just want to tune in, I appreciate that. There you go. One of the best in the game. You want to work your game like Stellium? Tune into the stream. Atlanta Phase 1-1 one one on our opening week. Major 4 is coming up here in just a few moments. As we say goodbye to Stellium, we have to check in on exactly where we're at in this yeah. tournament. Of course, Top 8 is where you need to be come our finals. Everyone's vying for that position in Florida. They had an opportunity to close their gap from six games to five. It's not going to happen. Atlanta extends their lead with another 10 points. Yeah, but I will say maybe looking a little bit better because, again, I touched on that strength of schedule. Atlanta was probably one of their hardest. They pushed that to a game five. So looking forward, maybe we'll see a stronger Florida this stage. All right, there we have it. Let's take a look back at some of the other matches that went down, though, today because we had a banger to open things up. Toronto. Major champions coming in, going up against our Raleigh runner-up, Seattle Surge. Get it done. Pred the great work. Right, Shark, he's dropping numbers here. Uh, we had Sim, though, was my MVP on the day. What did you guys think of the Surge in the upset? I thought it was great. Uh, I mean, they went two search and destroys to win a series. That's the first time they've ever done it all year long. Yeah. Uh, the first bloods for accuracy and Mac in game two, then accuracy once again in the game five was just beautiful. Uh, they headed into, you know, known territory in game five, something that they've been terrible at. Also, when you think about the map that they had in Fortress, 12% retake, they were retaking the bomb like the best team on Fortress. So <laughs> I really enjoyed what I saw today. A lot of assistance uh, from the teammates. Pred was going out there doing his thing. Everybody played great. It was a sound series. I think it was a great series. Easily my favorite on the day, maybe on the weekend. I mean, going to that game five, I just, I love what I saw from both teams. You know, one of them had to start this split 0-2. Oh, I am definitely shocked that it ended up being our champions coming off of Major 3. But, you know, sometimes it's kind of the tale that happens. You know, you win the Major, you go into that following qualifier, and you fall a little bit short. Maybe you get a little bit overconfident. So Toronto Ultra taking away some things to work on, but it was a banger series overall. But that wasn't the only one we had on the day. Toronto Owen. Oh, in two, but probably the two best series on the weekend yeah. if you're looking for top tier Call of Duty play. In this series, well, we got one side of it was top tier. The other side, they just need to hit the reset button and ignore what happened this week. London Royal Ravens yeah, smoked great. once again in a series that was close just a few weeks back down in Texas. Yeah, I mean, this was literally a ranked play. <laughs> like they had their way with London. You couldn't have a better match served up to you right now, especially after what happened to London in their first game. Uh, but enough about London. Optic looked fantastic, emulating their success. They look good. Excellent stuff here. Optic able to lock it up. We learned a few tricks there on Expo, and at the end of it all, well, Optic is going to be in third place, a 1-0 tied with Legion and Subliners. Atlanta Phase and Surge finish 1-1 one one with the Breach. Everyone else on the right side of your screen going to have to put in some work. But Thieves and Rocker undefeated at 2-0. Would you see this one coming in? I didn't have my money on that result. I mean, Thieves <laughs> always have that potential, yeah. right? So, I mean, they, they just looked incredible in the way that they did it, just dominating both games. Uh, for Rocker, no one expected this. Right. Uh, I didn't expect him to drop a touch. And hell no, I didn't expect <laughs> him to go 2-0. But hopefully they can keep it up because they need to.
Matches continue next week. We're done for week one, but week two, we've got some good ones. Allie's picked out her favorites here on day one. Which one goes to a game five? Ooh, game five? Honestly, low-key, I feel like that last one, New York and Minnesota, the way Minnesota's been looking, and New York also looks to kind of be back into the groove, so that could be a banger. If Minnesota beats subliners... Are they the best team in the game? Oh, name God. Us? No. It's, no. They could go 5-0 and and not lose a map. It is bounty week next week as well. As you can see in the top right, Citadel hooking the players up. $60,000 on the line. Each team with a chance to earn 10 k That's a pretty good chunk of money mm -hmm. if you're going for one matchup here. Make sure you're all tuning in. Remember, we kick things off at 2.45 p.m. Eastern right here on headquarters. Matches begin at 3. Before we go... Final question of the week, and as always, what did you learn, Allie? What are you taking home tonight into ranked? Uh, I learned uh, Seattle Surge that if accuracy or Matt get a first blood, they'll win the round. That's a good learning. I like that lesson. What about you, Nameless? Uh, yesterday, Selim taught me some wall bank spots that I'm not going to share with chat because I don't want y'all to hit me with it in ranked. I learned that Toronto likes to entertain but is going to have a tough road sledding into Major 4. They start 0-2 and, and have their work cut out for them. We'll see you all. Week 2 kicks off next Friday. See you then. <laughs> Closer than it appears, trying to take it to another tier. Prime time, yeah, my moment is here, yeah. I ride the nation for my title, do what I must for survival. By any means, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. I can't stop, I won't fold. Might bend the rules just to break the mold. Hella high water, calm and composed. Life will get messy, but I reach the goal. Kind of told them, fall, be the protocol. Yes, I had it in me after all. After plenty falls and a lot of fucking control. My I'm in it for the long run. I'm a problem to my problems. Fighting through the tears. Fighting in my fears. See my past in the mirror. How can they end it appears? Trying to take it to another tier. Prime time. I'm gonna have four. I dove in through the door. <laughs>